I'm here to explain a bold new marketing tool. A tool that'll help Chevrolet take command in the battle for passenger car and truck sales leadership. A tool called Preferred Equipment Groups. Preferred Equipment Groups play a key role in our aggressive 1989 marketing strategy by offering your customers outstanding value. Preferred Equipment Groups were designed with you in mind to be marketable at the retail level and to serve your needs locally by offering various content levels, each designed to appeal to a specific segment of buyers. Simply put, Preferred Equipment Groups offer your prospects outstanding deals, while giving you the opportunity to put cars on the ground that are contented and priced to move. Preferred Equipment Groups are available on all of our passenger cars and most light-duty trucks for 1989. For passenger cars, preferred equipment groups with cash savings are offered on Camaro, Cavalier, Corsica, Beretta, and Celebrity. These savings help keep the list price down. And in total, preferred equipment groups provide an actual price ladder within and between model lines. Preferred equipment groups allow you to stock vehicles that are contented the way people prefer to buy them. But you have to do your homework. With some thoughtful ordering, you can inventory vehicles with preferred equipment groups at extremely competitive prices and in some cases, significant savings. The bottom line is that in 1989, salespeople will be able to walk customers up and down the price ladder to find the specific car contented and priced to meet their needs. Preferred equipment groups give your customers more than expected at a Chevrolet price. In other words, they spell value in a big way. And that's the underlining thread, the common denominator of the new preferred equipment groups, Chevrolet value. Now let's take a look at the value positioning, the real world mechanics of preferred equipment groups on Cavalier, Corsica, Beretta, Celebrity, and Camaro. First, let's look at the value positioning for the Cavalier. Positioned against both foreign and domestic competition in the subcompact market, Cavalier benefits greatly from the preferred equipment group strategy. Take the Cavalier four-door sedan, for example. This car starts out with a base MSRP of $8,595. Now let's order that car with preferred equipment group number one. This group includes power steering, auxiliary lighting, and a heavy-duty battery at a cost of $303, bringing the MSRP to $8,898. But when the package savings of $300 is subtracted from that total, this Cavalier's sedan now costs $8,598, or $3 more than the base vehicle. Your customers are getting these features, options worth $303, for a mere $3. But it gets better for your customers and you. Let's say you order a Cavalier sedan with package number two at a cost of $544. This preferred equipment group includes the previously mentioned options, plus tinted glass, sport mirrors, body side moldings, and front and rear floor mats. The group also includes a $400 savings, bringing the net MSRP to $8739, only $144 over base sticker price. Now, preferred equipment group number three on the Cavalier sedan and another step up in the price ladder. In addition to all the options included in groups one and two, this preferred equipment group includes air conditioning, cruise control, tilt steering wheel, and intermittent windshield wipers at a cost of $1,574. But when the package savings of $700 is deducted, the bottom line price for this comfortably equipped Cavalier reads $9,469. The final step in the Cavalier sedan price ladder involves preferred equipment group number four. This group adds power windows, power door locks, and an AM FM stereo with cassette player. It carries a price tag of $2,176, but includes an $800 savings, bringing the net group price to $1,376, and the net MSRP on this vehicle to $9,971. As you can see on the Cavalier sedan example, as the option content of the preferred equipment groups increase, so do their group savings. This guarantees that your customers can find a car to fit their needs and their budgets, 
while receiving more value for their money, a Chevrolet tradition. But in order to put the most saleable units on the ground, you must manage your ordering more carefully this year than ever. For instance, let's go back to our Cavalier sedan example. As we've seen, this car equipped with preferred equipment group number one offers more value features than the base unit for the net cost of three dollars. That's because preferred equipment groups were designed to provide you and your buyers a very competitive price. So competitive, in fact, that in selected cases, a car ordered with a preferred equipment group may actually cost less than the base car. This is not like last year when discounts were offered on some base models. That's what we mean by doing your homework. Another ordering pitfall to avoid is high price free flow options such as air conditioning. As a rule of thumb, air conditioning should only be included on a vehicle if it's part of a preferred equipment group. The bottom line is you really shouldn't order air conditioning as a free flow option on any of our vehicles without thoroughly understanding our preferred equipment groups. And here's why. If you order a base Cavalier four-door sedan at $8,595 and aired air conditioning, a $675 option, that list price on that car becomes $9,270. The same base Cavalier, however, with preferred equipment group number three, which includes air conditioning and much, much more, carries an MSRP of $9,469. That's only $199 more for all these extra features. The same strategy holds true when adding an option like air conditioning to a preferred equipment group that does not include it. For example, a Cavalier sedan with preferred equipment group number two has an MSRP of $8,739. If air conditioning is added to this package, the price jumps to $9,414. Remember, a Cavalier sedan ordered with preferred equipment group number three, which includes air conditioning and a lot more carries an MSRP of $9,469. Look at it from the consumer's viewpoint. It makes sense to pay an extra $55 for several more valuable options. Options that will illustrate their worth throughout the ownership experience and at trade-in time too. There's a distinct price-value relationship that your customers will understand and appreciate. In summary, the price ladder structure for preferred equipment groups on Cavalier Sedan looks like this. From the base price of $8,595 up to preferred equipment group number four at $99.71. As you can see, both groups three and four include air conditioning. Adding air conditioning to the base unit or a group that does not include air negates the value of preferred equipment groups and breaks the price ladder. It makes more sense for you to put a lot of planning and thinking into your ordering this year. Thinking that will result in an inventory that features value at a competitive price, attracts prospects to your dealership, and turns over quickly. Now let's examine the value positioning for Corsica. In a way, option grouping is nothing new for either Corsica or Beretta. But preferred equipment groups are new this year, and so is the Corsica hatchback which we expect to be a hot seller. In 1989, base Corsica hatchback features an MSRP of $10,375. But when preferred equipment group number one, a package that includes tinted glass, auxiliary lighting, a heavy duty battery, and front and rear floor mats is added, the base MSRP actually drops $265 to $10,110. Now, how did this happen? The cost of preferred equipment group number one on the Corsica hatchback is $235. But the savings included with this group is $500, dropping the net MSRP well below base price. This is one of those select cases where a group equipped car costs less than a base car. And there's no reason why you shouldn't be putting these price leaders in stock. Let's look at preferred equipment group number two for Corsica hatchback which features the same equipment as Group 1, plus the following popular options, air conditioning, cruise control, tilt steering wheel, and intermittent windshield wipers. 
This group carries a price tag of $1,340, but a savings of $800. This net preferred equipment group price of $540 positions the car's MSRP at $10,915, or $805 more than the Corsica hatchback with preferred equipment group number one. A logical step up in the price ladder. The third preferred equipment group offered on the Corsica hatchback adds power windows, power door locks, an AM FM stereo with cassette player, and a power hatch release. This group retails for $1,992, but boasts an outstanding savings of $1,200 for a net preferred equipment group price of $792. The bottom line MSRP, the next rung on the Corsica hatchback price ladder for this vehicle is $11,167. This type of pricing makes our cars more saleable and competitive at each level. In effect, preferred equipment groups gives us price leaders and more important, value at every rung of the ladder. To summarize the Corsica hatchback price ladder, we can see the base vehicle is priced at $10,375. Preferred equipment group number one actually drops the MSRP to $10,110. While preferred equipment groups number two and three, which include air conditioning, check in at $10,915 and $11,167 respectively. Let's take a moment to look at the value positioning for Beretta. Beretta boasts an already attractive base price of $10,575 for the 1989 model year. But when preferred equipment group number one is added, once again the price actually drops, and here's why. Group number one, which includes auxiliary lighting, heavy duty battery, and front and rear floor mats, checks in with a price of $91. But this group boasts a savings of $500 dropping the MSRP of the vehicle $409 below the base price to $10,166. And that's only the tip of the iceberg. Beretta's preferred equipment group number two adds air conditioning, cruise control, tilt steering wheel, and intermittent windshield wipers. An attractive collection of options, right? The price is even more attractive. This group retails for $1,196 but includes a savings of $1,000, resulting in an MSRP on this Beretta of only $10,771, or $196 over the base sticker. That's unheard of for a vehicle with air conditioning and these features. The preferred equipment group number three adds comfort and convenience options, like power windows, power door locks, an AM FM stereo with cassette player, and power trunk opener. This group carries a retail price tag of $1,723 and a savings of $1,400 for a net price of $323. Our highly equipped Beretta now boasts an MSRP of only $10,898. In summary, the Beretta price ladder looks as follows. Starting with a base MSRP of $10,575, Preferred equipment group number one lowers that price to $10,166. Group number two moves the price up the ladder to $10,771, while preferred equipment group number three on the Beretta raises the MSRP to $10,898. Now, the value positioning for Celebrity is also an excellent story. Celebrity has always benefited from a favorable price-value relationship in its market and the addition of preferred equipment groups will only add to that. The 1989 Celebrity Sedan, for example, has a base price sticker of $11,495. Preferred equipment group number one with a four-cylinder engine includes air conditioning, exterior moldings, auxiliary lighting, heavy-duty battery, and front and rear floor mats. This group also offers a savings of $375, resulting in a bottom line net MSRP of $12,057. Adding air conditioning alone almost does that to the price. Group number two adds to this power door locks, cruise control, tilt steering wheel, a gauge package, and intermittent windshield wipers at a total price of $1,525. The savings for this package is $600, placing the net MSRP at $12,420. 
The last step on the celebrity sedan price ladder involves preferred equipment group number three, which includes everything in groups one and two, plus power windows, an AM FM stereo with cassette player, power trunk opener, and dual remote control sport mirrors. This takes our bottom line price to $12,747. Now, why would anyone order air conditioning as a standalone option at $775 when for a few hundred dollars more with group number three, you get a top of the line celebrity? To sum it up, the preferred equipment group price ladder structure for celebrity looks like this. For 1989, the base unit is priced at $11,495. Preferred equipment groups one, two, and three, which all include air conditioning, climb the price ladder at $12,057, $12,420, and $12,747, respectively. Now let's take a close look at Camaro and its value positioning. Simply put, Camaro's preferred equipment groups carry significant savings, making this traditionally fun to drive car a lot more affordable. Camaro RS Coupe, for instance, has a base price in 89 of 11495 Now, you won't believe this one. Preferred equipment group number one for the RS Coupe includes tinted glass, body side moldings, auxiliary lighting, and a heavy-duty battery. This group is priced at $255, but includes a savings of $1,200. Yes, $1,200. The effect? The net MSRP on Camaro RS Coupe with group number one becomes $10,550 or $945 less than the base price. Talk about a value position. Which would you rather have on your lot or in your showroom? Which would your customers rather buy? A base Camaro RS at $11,495 or a Camaro RS ordered with preferred equipment group number one at $10,550. Preferred equipment group number two for RS Coupe adds air conditioning, cruise control, power door locks, tilt steering wheel, an AM FM stereo with cassette player, intermittent windshield wipers, and front and rear floor mats. These options are priced at $1,687, but the group also boasts a savings of $1,500. In essence, providing your customers the group for only $187 over base price. All this for only $187, which makes the price of this well-equipped Camaro RS $11,682. And that's not the end of the Camaro RS value story. Preferred equipment group number three on Camaro RS includes everything in group one and two, plus power windows, a rear compartment cover, halogen headlamps, and a lighted rearview mirror. Group number three is priced at $2,014 and includes a $1,600 savings, moving the MSRP of the Camaro RS Coupe up the price ladder to $11,909. As you can see, the price ladder structure for the preferred equipment groups on the RS Camaro is dramatic. Beginning with a base MSRP of $11,495, Preferred equipment group number one lowers the price to $10,550. Groups number two and three, both with air conditioning and other valuable options, move the MSRP up the price ladder to $11,682 and $11,909 respectively. Prices like these will make you a lot more competitive against domestic and import sports coupes in 89. Although it's neither the exception nor the rule, Camaro RS Coupe is a good example of why you must give your 1989 model year ordering a great deal of thought. In the next few weeks, your dealership will receive more information about preferred equipment groups, information geared at salespeople and sales managers, information designed to help your people understand and explain this powerful new marketing strategy to your customers. It is extremely important that you carefully review your order guide and prices to ensure that you put the right units in stock. Our strategy with preferred equipment groups is to combine content with price to give all of our cars and trucks the upper hand when it comes to value versus the competition. This strategy gives you the opportunity to develop your own marketing plan 
to make preferred equipment groups and the resulting cash savings work effectively for you in your marketplace. Preferred equipment groups are a valuable tool and I have no doubt this tool will help us increase sales. Thank you.